hi everyone in the previous video you have started that how to declare initialize and how to print any variable on console in C++ you just need to declare the variable and print it via C out you need not any format specifier for that in this video we'll study that how to take input from user this can be done by C in C in is also an object like C out that stand for console input and it is used for taking input from the user via console so let us just move straight to the code to understand that how this scene is working you are already familiar with these two lines header files and the using namespace standard for using uh, scene also you need to declare this line so I have already declared it I have already written it on the top so that every time I know not to write std out here and here also so in this line we have declare and initialize a declared a variable a and in this line we are taking an input from the user by console for this variable a and in this line we are printing that value which is entered by the user so let me just compile it and run this code for you 5 and see value of a is 5 so let me just again run it for another input and we write here 12 and see it's 12 so in this program we have studied till now that how to take input from user so let me just change this int to char and uh, let me just see that how we can take character input from user uh, see here is the character input i have entered a c value of a is a so and uh, let me just type a capital character value of a is D. so this is how we can take character input from user you can see that do you do not need any format specifier any address thing like we did in scanf so this is whole of a whole lot of a easier thing than C and we can take same float input thing like this and for this thing and that's 5.7 4.5 C 4.5 so the number of points we entered is the same number of point is just printed there so there is no need of percentage f and formatting thing and all that so this is the video about that how to take inputs from user we have till now taken input from user for integer character and float and in the next video we'll study that how to take an input for a string from user you remember string that we have uh, told you in c++ that string is a character array so in this video uh, in the next video we'll study that how to take an input for string in C++. Thank you.